Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, I apologise in advance that it's been so long since I've done one. But uh, I've recently started a new job so I really haven't had the time that I used to have. So that's why it's been so long. And I just want to apologise to you first of all. Um, so today's video is going to be a quick review of Royal Crown Pomade. And uh, this is one I've been wanting to try for a while. And uh, this was sent to me by one of my good friends, Danny. Uh, he's living out in Germany. And uh, they've got it in quite an abundance out there. So I just wanted to give him a shout out. And there'll be a link to his, his uh, pomade channel in the description. Uh, so go check him out and subscribe to his channel. He does some really great content and he's got a lot coming up. So first of all, Royal Crown Pomade. I've done a review of the hairdressing, I did that, did that about a year ago. So that's the hairdressing and that's the pomade. Basically no difference to the tin other than obviously the name of the product. Uh, the Royal Crown pomade used to come with a red top, that's how they used to be most distinguishable. But now they both come with silver top, however the dressing has the logo and all the sign writing stamped into the tin. So the pomade and the way that it differs to uh, the hairdressing is quite simple really. There's a slightly different scent. Uh, the hairdressing was more floral. Um, this is also floral but it's like a different sort of kind. This one has officially got a lavender scent so I've been told. Um, this one was used by Johnny Cash and possibly Elvis. I'm willing to bet that he probably did use it because it was made in Tennessee. Obviously everyone knows Elvis is from Memphis. Uh, and this is made by Jay Strickland & Co. So, first of all, this is the standard size tin. I, I'm pretty sure there's a 7 ounce as well, but this one is a 5. So. First of all, looking at the packaging, I really love the old school products like this because they tend to have a bit more um, classic look to them. They're not as over the top as some products with the design and things like that. They just keep it simple. So uh, I'm just going to quickly read off the many ingredients to you. Uh, patrol at them, standard. Uh, olive oil and fragrance, that's literally it. So one of those classic pomades that it's just three ingredients. Uh, so if you take that aside, I used it a little bit, and as you can see, it's very similar. Let me just get a comparison to the hairdressing. However, you can see that this one looks slightly firmer, this one is far more greasy. Uh, and it's got a slightly different colour. That's probably due to the way it was formulating things like that, different quantities of uh, the different ingredients. So scooping out is very simple. I'm just gonna take a little bit out. So I've got about that much. See, it was effortless. So what I'm gonna do before I apply it to my hair, I'm just gonna dampen my hair because uh, I find that these classic pomades, they go in better when your hair is damp or slightly wet. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, hair is damp. Just going to towel dry it quickly. scoop back out. So I'm going to start off with a full fingertip amount. There's quite a lot there so that'll probably cover me uh, for the most part. Running it on your hands and distributing it on your hands is so easy. You will see how shiny and greasy it is just from the start. And the scent is to die for. It's fantastic. Like I said it's got that lovely lavender Really nice floral scent. 
Uh, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the hairdressing scent, so the smell of pomade, they said it's a massive difference, and I do agree with them. I don't mind the scent of the hairdressing, but I do think that this pomade is better than the hairdressing in terms of that. You can feel the hold is far greater than the hairdressing too. Just from applying it to your hair, you get a rough idea of how good it's going to be. It's going to take a little bit more. And this will be my last scoop. You really don't need a lot, but this distributes through your hair lovely. Okay. Got a hair there. Right, so that is the distribution. I'm just going to slick it all through now. And actually, well, I'm going to distribute the product properly now using my Kent comb. For those of you who are a big fan of Kent, this one is the 16T. It's got the white teeth and the fine teeth. I picked this up when I was in Memphis uh, in the airport and to be honest I wasn't a fan of my old Kent comb. I think that was a 12T and the teeth were much shorter so it wasn't digging into my hair properly. Um, and These combs are fantastic. So that's all I'm using at the moment. I was using these cheap combs you can get at the drugstore. This one's from Wilco. Uh, they're still good. I do use them on occasion, but I find these are far smoother. And uh, it doesn't give so much tug in your hair, snap hair and things like that. So it was worth picking one up. I've just dampened my comb just to clean it a bit. So now I'm just going to start slicking it all through. Very minimal plug and pull. It's got a little bit of resistance to it. But uh, nothing to show it about really. I'd imagine that if my hair was cut for it, it would hold the slick back really nicely. When people, just a little tip for you, if you want to do something like a slick back, you know, something that keeps it really tight and firm, uh, it's better um, to use like a very light, greasy product rather than uh, like a heavy pomade. They'll do the job, a heavy, of keeping everything slick tight. But when you use a very light product, uh, when it slicks through, it tends to not want to spring up so much. Like, if I were to slick this down now, obviously I've got... Yeah, I cut for a pump, so it probably will spring up anyway, which doesn't really help my point. But that is really tight and pulled back. That isn't really moving at all. So, until obviously I mess it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, you're better off using like greasy products as well and trying to get it without rambling on too much. Okay, so that's the distribution. Now I'm going to start combing my hair. Just going to sit down for this one. So I'm just starting to get the swirl going. Keep working at it. the white off my comb. See it's just got excellent shine and everything blends in so really nice. Nice side part going. What I've been doing the last few months is doing my side part after I've combed the top because I've got a bit of a cowlick here uh, when I was doing my side part, then combing it up, this section here kept wanting to fall, and when I blended in, then it would be too flat and wouldn't be rounded enough. So I've started doing that now, uh, the way I do it now, just to counteract that. And uh, just get that out of there. I really need to learn to clean my combs before I start making videos. 
So I'm just going to keep going at that. You can really feel that the hold is greater than the hairdressing just by the extra height that I'm getting out of it. I'm just going to slip my side part in. Just fix that side. scent is really noticeable when you first apply it. I noticed it did uh, sort of uh, go throughout the day, but not to the point where you couldn't smell it. Because uh, some scents, obviously, they can be quite overpowering and you, you want them to sort of die down throughout the day. But this one, I don't think I get tired of it, to be honest. The thing you'll find if you've got fine hair like myself is when you use light greasy products like this and try and pull your hair forward you see a lot more of your scalp and that's just part of the styling it's just one of those things because if you've got thick hair um, the actual strands themselves are much larger in diameter than some of the fine hair so it appears as though my hair is like thinning or quite fine it's just not the case um, that's one of those things you just gotta get used to and know how your hair works and some ways you can sort of fix it and make it not look so fine. Like if I were to recomb this now and just bring it forward ever so slightly, probably hide it a lot of that. But um, it doesn't really bother bother me too much. So I think that's about it for the front. Um, just gonna. God, I need to learn to clean my combs. You think, you think of doing these videos for a couple of years and I would have learned by now to clean my combs before I start filming a video. So I'm going to spin around now and just do my DA. And really badly need a haircut as well. So it's not the best, uh, best cut they've had. For a while, I don't really need one now. And I get a little cow like there, where I get on that side too, but not so bad. If I uh, brush my hair along my collar or something like that, this sort of notch comes in, so when I do a haircut, that tends to grow back in. And because uh, I tend to keep it cropped, like tapered at the lower back of my neck just to counteract that issue and when I'm due for a haircut I haven't had one in about four weeks so uh, I, that starts to form back in so I, that's why I'm combing that section back now okay that's my DA all in all I'm very pleased with this product it's probably one of the best I've tried honestly if you've uh, Got a chance to pick it up. I know in America you can find it quite a lot of uh, places like Walmart and Walgreens and places like that for like two two dollars and things like that. For the for this tub I had to pay I think it was eleven pounds British pounds. So I, I was willing to spend that much uh, for such a classic pomade. I mean I bought a lot of modern products which are a little bit more than that and that doesn't bother me in the slightest how much I paid them because they're all very good but that one I wanted to make sure I try it like because uh, it's been on my list for ages and I just haven't been able to find it like on Amazon in the UK uh, people are charging like £40 for it and obviously you're not going to justify paying that so just clean that up a bit I'll just give you a quick overview so as you can see the hair is quite forward, the side part is a little bit messy towards the back but keeps a nice clean part. My DA is nice and tight, but well, it's like that a haircut that is, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty nice and tight, no really issues there and it, it will hold it in throughout the day, it's pretty good, keep the back neat. And then there's obviously my own part beside and just 
blends in very nice. And my side part comes in, slicks down real tight. Because I've got a cowlick by here somewhere. And uh, I've got a bit of a bounce in my head if I haven't got enough palmed in. That tends to spring back up around this section here. So that is crucial for keeping that down. <clears throat> all in all, guys, uh, I'd say definitely pick this up at your local drugstore, whatever. If you can find it online, cheap, great. If not, see if you've got any friends uh, that can pick one up for you and ship it out to you, like Danny did for me. So thank you guys. Uh, sorry it's been so long. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. And uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming. So thank you very much, pe all of you people for watching. And I'm glad that you've all kept watching me and stuck with it. Because I didn't want to leave it this long. But obviously with work and things like that, I didn't have a choice. So thank you very much, everyone. Bye now.